since I think my October favorites. So I've fallen kind of behind on them, but I did the best of 2012 tags that kind of made up for it, but not really. So I'm going to be doing my beauty favorites and then as well as my random favorites. So I'm just going to begin. My first product is the Benefit Eye Bright and I use this as a color corrector for underneath my eyes because it counteracts with purple and just makes it a little bit more brightened already. It doesn't conceal them, it just will correct the color. So I will apply this underneath my eye and then blend it out with my finger and then it will just correct the color for me. And then I don't have purple under eye circles, they're just neutral. To go along with my Benefit Eye Bright, I have been loving this concealer and it is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circles Concealer and you guys, this is the absolute best concealer I have ever tried. I adore it so much. It is amazing. So what you do is you twist up this little thingy and then this little roller ball you dab underneath your eyes and then I blend it out with my fingers and it completely gets all of my under eye circles gone, diminished. They are, they vanish, like they're not even there. This works wonders and it's amazing. Yeah, I absolutely love this concealer and would definitely recommend it. For blush recently, I have been using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Serio Rose. And I hauled this and I'll have that haul linked down below. I really like this one because it gives me a very natural flush. Like if I just got back from the gym or something, um, this is the color that I would naturally be. But it just kind of looks more... Not like I just ran a couple of miles, but it looks like I meant to put it on there, but it looks very natural while I meant to put it on there, if that makes sense. This also is not a flat blush, so what I mean by that is it has some highlight undertones to it, so it definitely raises up my cheeks and, make my face, and makes my face look a lot more uplifted and glowing, which I really, really like. So this is by far my absolute favorite blush. Moving on to the eyes, I have been absolutely loving my Vera Wang eyeshadows, and these I got at Kohl's in a little gift set, and I would have never thought to get Vera Wang Cosmetics, but I saw these and I really liked the colors. So I have two, one is in 403 and the other is in 404. So this one comes with a skin toned shade which I use underneath my eyebrow and then it comes with a champagne shade which I will use on my lid. And then in 404 you get a matte brown shade with some pumpkin orangey undertones that I'll put in my crease as a transition color. And then you get this brown that has blue undertones which is a very unique color. And I'll put this on my outer corner of my eye and it just gives me a beautiful eye look. And I don't always use the 404 palette but I pretty much always use the 403 palette. And I really, I guess it's a duo, and I really, really like these eyeshadows. They're very pigmented and definitely worth the money. Mascara is next, and I've always loved the Colossal Mascara, but then they came out with the Cat Eye Edition, and I can't even tell you how much I love this. But this is such an amazing product. But I really like this because of the wand. It's a very skinny wand, and it's also curved. So I can get to the very base of my lashes and really wiggle up and just get all of my lashes. And it lengthens them, but it also separates them. I've never had any clumping at all with this mascara. It lasts all day. I really, really like this mascara. It is by far my absolute favorite. It's just perfect. I and love then it. finally for lips, my favorite lipstick has been the Maybelline Color Whisper. And it's just this whole line in general. And this one is in the color Make It Mauve or Mauve. People make fun of me whenever I say Mauve. I guess mauve, but this is one that I'm wearing right now, and this is an amazing lipstick because number one, it is a new formula. It's gel formula. So what that means is that it'll be very moisturizing and nourishing to the lips, but it'll also create more of like a glossy finish as opposed to a matte or satin finish. Um, these have been compared to matte cream sheens, but honestly, in my opinion, I think that they're much more pigmented and moisturizing than MAC cream sheens. So I'm planning on getting every color of these because I really do love them. So another thing that I've really been loving are headbands. And these are my favorite kinds of headbands now. I really, really like them. They are from the brand Hipsy. And I just want to throw out real quick that yes, these were sent to me for free. I did get to pick them out for free, but that doesn't change my opinion about them. Like honestly, if I hated them, I would straight up tell you guys I hate these headbands, but I don't. I really like these headbands. Um, I also have a coupon code, so I'll have it all linked down below. So I have four others to show you, but this first one is just a glittery headband, and this is like a cool kind of glittery headband. It's not like sequins. It's kind of like little stringy things, and they don't come off, which I really like. 
And these claim to be better than any other headbands because number one, they're supposed to be no slip and they also are adjustable so you can like adjust the back string of them. It's the best headband I've ever tried. It doesn't move at all and it also doesn't hurt your head. I know that that sounds kind of weird that a headband would hurt your head, but honestly, headbands have given me headaches before and this one didn't give me a headache, which really sold me. So I absolutely love these headbands. I'll have um, Hipsy link down below as well as a coupon code. I think it's 50% off, but I also have four others. They come in so many patterns and the one that I'm wearing is $15.95. This zebra one, which I also have, is uh, $15.95. I got this light blue one, which I think is super pretty for $15.95. And finally, I got a studded rhinestone one for $18.95. So if you guys are interested in any of these headbands, I'll have it linked down below. And again, they are the best headbands I've ever tried. And I promise you my opinion is not influenced at all just because they were free. So now moving on to random favorites. My first random favorite is IMATS and that stands for International Makeup Artist Trade Show. I will have my IMATS vlogs as well as my IMATS haul linked down below in case you guys are interested in that. I have been loving going to IMATS and it was so much fun, probably the best experience ever so I loved that. Okay guys, Pretty Little Liars came back on, Dance Moms came back on, and The Biggest Loser came back on. Safe to say that those are my three favorite shows. I absolutely love all of them. And also let me know if you guys want a reaction video after each um, Pretty Little Liars, because that would be really fun. For books, this might be kind of a weird book, but I love To Kill a Mockingbird. I had to read that for English this year, and I really, really liked it. It was so good. I know that it's like that traditional book that everyone has to read, but I really did like it. I thought it was very well written, and it was very easy to follow because of the, the narrator. I'm not going to tell anything, but I really enjoyed the plot and storyline in the book. I just thought it was an amazing book, definitely one of my favorite books. And then another one that I really was interested in this month was The Da Vinci Code. And I'm I'm someone that's so interested in hidden languages and the Illuminati especially and everything like that. I think that is so interesting and The Da Vinci Code really touched on a lot of that and it was one of the most interesting books I've ever read. For food, I have been absolutely loving iced tea, but that is no surprise. I love iced tea all the time. But when I was in L.A., whenever I go out to eat, I always order an, an iced tea. And when I was in L.A., I think I had an iced tea at least four times a day. So I'm obsessed with iced tea right now. I'm really liking unsweetened iced tea, like just straight up unsweetened. As bitter as it gets, it's so good. I don't know why, but that's just, I think that's the most refreshing iced tea ever. But if I want something sweeter, I definitely love the Starbucks Passion Fruit Iced Tea. They are amazing. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this favorites video. And if you guys have any of your January favorites, please leave it as a video response down below. I would love to watch it. And if you can't leave a video response, definitely tweet it to me at MacUp101. Or take a picture and then tag it to me on Instagram at MacUp1001. Or just leave it in the comments down below. You know, whatever you want to do, that's fine. You know, we're all friends here. We can do whatever we want. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you in my next one and have a wonderful rest of your night.